Hey, hey everybody, how are you doing? It's Barb Mason, the creative energy behind Bobby Con Design Jewelry, where everything is funky, chunky, and fabulously hip. Coming to you today um, with such a feeling of optimism. I'm not sure if it's because the virus uh, may be under control with vaccine, um, or that it's sunny or that I had my feet operated on and I'm going to be like a marathon runner when I'm done. Okay, just kidding, not that. But um, it's a great day and so I just wanted to show you a little bit about what I've been up to. I say when life gives you lemons, make lemonade and when life gives you black buttons, make pins. And so that's what I did. Um, I you know, People ask me so often, how long does it take you to create? And the answer is sometimes moments, and the answer is sometimes years. And so in this case, it would be years. Many years ago, I was um, shopping with my sister in Santa Fe, and someone was getting rid of, someone had died and they uh, also uh, created jewelry like I did. And so an estate person was disposing of their stuff. And there were bags and bags of black buttons. And I'm like, black buttons, I don't know. I'm gonna buy them all. And I bought them all. And I've tried to make, oh my God, you can't even imagine how many um, different things I've tried to make with these black buttons uh, and to no avail. Although I am about to make a darling bracelet with um, super cute shank buttons on elastic, but it's not done yet. So the other day, I'm like looking at my buttons again, doing my usual sort of meditation and prayer over the buttons. Who are you? What do you want to be? And I started to think about it and I'm like, well, but wait, I have these really cute black buttons. And then I also have these Swarovski crystals that could sit in the center. And I have these leather fringes that would be adorable and it would be this sort of sparkly thing. Okay, so I made all these black buttons, which I'll show you in a minute. You'll have to message me for them or we'll get on a Zoom call to go over them and you can we can pick, pick out the best one for you. Um, but then the other thing that happened the other day is the renaissance of the jacket. I am watching Denzel Washington being interviewed and he's wearing a sport coat, um, a super casual t-shirt. It just looks like a plain old men's undershirt in black, though I'm sure it's not if it's Denzel. Um, he's got on a sport jacket, a cool belt, like I do, cool belt, and a pair of jeans. And he just looked so so like he put forth an effort, but he was still super comfortable. And I'm like, I have great jackets. And I think I'll like the way they look better than a cardigan or a, I don't know, which kind of has overtones of a Mr. Rogers look. So I went and got all of my sport jackets, if you will, like Denzel, and brought them all upstairs. They're adorable. They're in the best colors. Look at the button features with my button pin. I happen to love pins. Um, and so I decided that I was going to um, channel my inner Denzel. I was gonna put away the Mr. Rogers cardigans. I'm taking out a jacket. No big deal if I get warm, which I might. Just wearing a cute black sweater, got on a belt, so I'm, I'm finished. And so that's what I wanted to let you know about today is just really fun ways to kind of zhuzh it up without really having to buy much of anything. So um, I'm gonna show you maybe four of the pins that I've made. Um, <laughs> this one is so stinking cute. It's with polymer clay and a spool. Um, another one I've done is navy. These are navy buttons and a navy sparkle. Um, I love my white leather fringe with a, a white druzy quartz. And then I did something 
kind of simple with no fringe at all. Now, I have like 15 more of these. I found the Super Sauce um, and how to keep it um, all put together. Oh, this is another one, sorry, one more, of my favorites with the polymer clay, the leather button, and then that goes kind of with the leather fringe. Love this. So, if you wanna make a change uh, away maybe from buying another necklace, uh, and you have enough uh, badass bracelets, then if you love pins like I do, reach out, barb at bobbycondesign.com, and let's get on a quick call and get you a pin in the mail. It's not too late. Hope you're feeling optimistic as well. Um, I think shows are going to be back next year, y'all, and I can't wait to see you. See you later.